is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org. Silicon Angle TV goes out to the show, extract the signal from the noise. We're here at the St. Regis Hotel for the Open SDX event. Uh, small event, about 200 people uh, coming to hear Janet Napolitano, Hillary Clinton, just business leaders from our, our, around the industry. And joining me for this uh, segment is Dr. Tom Bradich uh, with HP. He's part of the Moonshot team. Uh, on theCUBE, we've chronicled Moonshot since the original inception and the launch. Uh, the concept came out about three years ago, two years ago, physical product. And uh, uh, Tom, if you could give us, what, what, what's the update on Moonshot? Great. First of all, let me say I'm very happy to be here at this Open SDX event, and Nexenta, who's sponsoring it, is a great company with great leadership, and uh, very happy to give you an update on what's happening with this Moonshot platform. Uh, we've had some keen interest in uh, end users, customers, and partners. Uh, very interesting is what we call the web in a box concept, where we're moving uh, many tiers of web serving into a single part number to manage, meaning only one SKU to manage, and it really lowers the uh, cost of management, which you may know is a very big cost in, in, in that as well. Uh, the future is looking really bright as well. Uh, in addition to uh, some cool things coming up I'll tell you about, we have on the market today a hosted physical desktop or remote desktop, or as it's now being called a workplace as a service product. So highly integrated with a built-in GPU, graphics processor, to give a very rich experience as well. Yeah. Uh, it, it's been interesting. As I go around to the shows, I've been seeing Moonshot pop up lots of places. I was in San Francisco a few months back at the Cloud Foundry Summit. Looked like you know cloud and big data and PaaS all in a box. It was pretty fascinating. Um, new architectures give us new opportunities to sometimes change things. I, I guess you've got some uh, new provocative things that you wanted to share uh, and update on, on the project. Well, we do, and I can tell you something about it. Not out on the market yet. But in my laboratories, we're developing some very cool stuff. Uh, the Moonshot platform is very flexible. Uh, we have a plurality of processors, architectures, and we do have coming uh, this year, uh, shortly, a ARM server. That's a 64-bit, enterprise-hardened, enterprise-ready, battle-hardened ARM server. And that will enter the market, and we're very excited to see how the ecosystem gets built around that. Wow. In addition, uh, we have uh, a product that employs Intel's Xeon E3 with Iris Pro graphics. They have uh, Xeon cores combined with a GPU, a graphics processor, and it gives tremendous rich experiences, for example, with Adobe Photoshop and applications that require graphics intensity. And the whole idea of taking that desktop experience or the workplace and making it as a service back in the cloud or an on-premise data center, you know, one of the two, um, is very, very powerful today because of the management and control aspects of it, all the way from security, piracy, and giving the end user a better experience. All right, that, that's great. Lots of enhancements coming. Uh, customers are looking for a choice. It's ARM, 64-bit, lots of things they're looking at. I want to give you the last word on this. We've got about 200 you know, CIOs and C-levels here. What's the biggest opportunity you see out there in the IT market space that, that CIOs should be looking for? Well, it, the, the newest opportunity is the old saying, really. It is lowering uh, power, that is electricity bills, and also lowering the space required and simplifying as well. And providing a compute model that does that, and HP is uh, uh, today, as a matter of fact, talking about our Gen 9, Generation 9 server line, that does all that. It focuses on the compute and gives simplicity, lower power, as well as higher compute dollar for the higher compute value for the dollar as well. All right, well, I appreciate you taking some time. Looking forward to seeing all the speakers here at this show. Uh, we will be back with lots more interviews with SiliconANGLE's coverage of all the hottest shows in the Valley and beyond.